Now move on to the final day with the last figure in Wave 3, and that is the Snow Trooper. So far, Hasbro's done a fantastic job in overall releases, in my opinion, for Sith Lords. And although there's definitely not a whole variety we've seen in the 6-inch line so far, hopefully we'll see a ton more in the near future in the 6-inch line since we're having a pretty good round of cast for the Sith Lords. Anyway, we'll now move on to the final review. And I'll move on to the final release in the Wave 3 of the 6-inch Black Series figures for Rogue One, and that is the Snow Trooper based on the design from the original trilogy. Canon-wise, at least in the movies specifically, this particular design of Trooper first showed up in the Empire Strikes Back. So it's nice to see this figure released in the 6-inch scale. Anyway, so now let's take a look at the box. It has a pretty good profile shot of the helmet design of the Snow Trooper here. Shows that it is number 35, and it has a bio on the back as normal. So now I'll move on to the figure itself. The figure is actually a lot cooler in person than I anticipated. Originally, I thought the figure had a more full-on whitish design, although it's nice to see a lot more stylized paint design going throughout the actual suit, and that's actually accurate to the movie, so that's actually cool that Hasbro went ahead and did that. Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, but you're not going to get a whole lot of movement just by the design of the head sculpt. Underneath is actually painted a skin color, which I was actually surprised getting in the hand that Hasbro actually released it with a skin color design underneath the helmet. The back piece is pretty close to what we've seen with the First Order Stormtroopers, but it's obviously a dis different design in this particular era. He does have fully jointed shoulders with a lot more movement with less restrictions since this piece is actually somewhat separated compared to some of the other figures. He has ball hinges at the elbows, good range of movement. He has fully jointed wrists with a, sorry, the, uh, he does have the hinges there as well. He has good range of movement in the hips with a little bit of a crunch. We're not going to get a whole lot there. And that's about it for that. The comet piece gets in the way just slightly with the hips. But that's pretty much all you would need anyway for articulation, in my opinion, for this particular design. He has good joints at the thighs, since it has the standard cut. And he does have double joints at the knees. And he does have fully jointed ankles. So at least Hasbro did not skimp out on the articulation in general in this particular line. He does have this really nice design rifle with a whole lot of battle wear. Very close to what I've seen with the Battlefront Trooper. And he does have the standard Stormtrooper Blaster as well. Anyways, we'll now move on to a comparison with the other Trooper. And move on from there. To start off, here is a comparison with the ATH driver next to the Snow Trooper. And they do look nice together in general. Here it is next to the Battlefront Trooper, which unfortunately is still currently the only standard styled Stormtrooper I have in the 6-inch Black Series line. He still suffers from the really wonky legs for some reason. But other than that, it is still pretty cool next to it. And, just as a bonus comparison, here is the original Trilogy Snow Trooper next to the First Order. And while the First Order design took some likeness of the original Trilogy, it definitely has a lot more stylized designs rather than kind of a more generic design what we did with the snow troopers outside of the paint to legs. So overall this is still a fantastic figure to get in your collection especially if you're a fan of the hot planet. I'm just gonna move the trooper since it showed up there. But overall I think Hazard did a fantastic job in designing the figure and it's definitely recommended to those who are big army builders. Or if you're just a fan of the particular Snow Trooper in general, then it's still a highly recommended figure to get a hold of. And with this, finishes up the Wave 3 reviews for the 6-inch Black Series for Rogue One. And it's one of the strongest waves I've seen so far. If you are a fan of anything outside of Rogue One, especially since it does have a wide variety of characters released within the movies. And I think Hasbro has done a really nice job with this particular wave in general. Anyways, please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check me on Twitter, Darkon 633 and don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content as soon as possible. I'm back with more reviews, but for now I'll be seeing you too. Bye.